I think the red carpet has been on life support for quite a while. Jennifer Lawrence looked like she wrapped a bed sheet around her and, and uh, took two braids. Yeah, I, and she should be ashamed because Dior pays her a lot of money. Dior, Dior should, should be, be ashamed. Dior should be ashamed. Yeah. Do you think a lot of people are saying on the, on this topic that the red carpet is dead? Um, you know that now that we've seen Instagram swoop in and kind of take the place of it, and we've got this virtual format that will never get back to the traditional step and repeat the glitz and glamour with the photographers and the whole shebang. Where do you stand on that? I think the red carpet has been on life support for quite a while, sadly. Yeah. You know, here's this thing that my mom and I were pioneers mm -hmm. in, in creating, you know, whoever thought that walking into a building could be turned into an event. Right. And that's what happened. And then it was, you know, that point where people were having more fun watching the red carpets and the actual award shows. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud that we were a part of that. Yeah. Um, you know, as I always say, I don't know if we're going, if my mom went to heaven or hell, for you know, creating what we created, but I just know I'll be going that same direction. So it started to lose it, it when it started getting very controlled. The the major shift in red carpet coverage started years ago. The first big seismic shift was Me Too, mm -hmm. which really changed everything on the red carpet, including not being able to ask someone who they're wearing. You know, right. it got very complicated. Now we take it a step further into the virtual world. Um, I don't, I think one of the things that started to bother her and bother me when we were doing red carpet coverage and even just fashion police was it got so safe. Mm -hmm. It got very controlled. It got, you know, everybody was being paid by designers to wear their clothes or their jewelry and you lost total, um, you lost a lot of personality. And now we've taken a step further into virtual. With virtual, you're not going to have any mishaps. Mm -hmm. With virtual you work, uh, wardrobe malfunctions, malfunctions. On you're not going to have something that looks great standing still and bad moving. You're not going to have that, oh my God, you can see through their dress or any of those kinds of things because it's now even more controlled, which, you know, sadly takes a lot of the fun out of it. So much of these of the red carpet is the movement and the interaction and things happening and you know everyone's going to be at home with their wind machines i suppose you know making yeah. themselves look great so i think in that one it, it, it's going to be it's um it's sad it becomes it, it becomes you know you might as well be you know looking at a magazine and still photos so i think you know again i think you're going to see a lot more suiting mm -hmm. i think you're going to see a lot more cocktail rather than black tie. I think the first time back, if there ever is a first time back, it's gonna be great and it's gonna be a party and everybody's gonna be happy to be there. Would love to see it. Would love to see it. Don't know if that will ever happen. I would certainly hope with the Globes and leading up especially to the Oscars that they do say, you need to dress up. Yeah. I feel like we lose a lot by saying you can't talk about your outfit anymore because, you know, you can send a really positive, important message with your clothes. And by saying, don't ask me who designed my outfit, like someone put so much work and time and effort into that outfit you're wearing and well, deserves that, their due. That's what makes me crazy when people are like, don't ask me or whatever you want to say. You're, most of you are being paid exactly. to wear this. So show me on your contract where it says you don't have to mention who it is. I know. Because if you show me that, then I have no problem because they deserve the credit. Yeah. If you are the ambassador, you have to say, this is Dior. Now, if yeah. I don't ask you, you're just going to pop out. Why is it wrong? You know, this is, you're, you're, you're a walking billboard. I don't know about you, but I certainly miss like the glamour of the old school red carpet. It's the reason to watch for a lot of us. And it was fun and it, it was exciting. And again, you would track what your favorites were wearing the whole season and it set trends mm -hmm. also by the way for an actress if you are not you know shoved into a pair of spanks that are a size too small and spend the half the night uncomfortable it is not an award show <laughs> you know, it is not an award show unless you're in the ladies room with people like oh my god i can't breathe you know the sign of a real red carpet